Hey everyone, welcome to my late October, early November monthly opinions on the Sonic the Hedgehog comic book. Um, first of all, I this is something I told you I was going to try out that's kind of new that I mentioned in my Sonic Comics Plus. I was going to try something new. And that is, I'm doing this before I do my review. My review will come this week because i got a feeling I might get the issue tomorrow or Wednesday, I will get the issue. Now, first of all, let's talk about 218. Now, like I said, I don't have the physical issue with me, but I did read the summary and kind of get a good idea about what happened. Now, I never thought I'd say this, but this will contain some spoilers. So anybody that's got the issue already, you know what's going to happen. And for some of you that don't have the issue, well, you don't know what's going to happen yet. But you will. Now, I apologize for the noise in the background. There's a UPS truck that just arrived. Anyway, uh, basically we start out, like I said, for many of you that read it, basically what happens, happens is, for many of you that read 218, Basically, Bunny's decision, along with Sonic's decision, which is the same decision, if you will, did you know? It worked out, if you will. It really worked out, kind of. I guess you could say it was a win-win for the Freedom Fighters, but it was a lose-lose as well because uh, basically what happened is that Bunny's uncle was disappointed in her doing something like this. In a way kind of knew she was going to attempt something like this because basically what Bunny and, and Sonic were doing were basically trying to fool them into thinking they were still fighting each other but in truth sorry about that but in truth they were actually destroying the refinery now again this again like I mentioned in Sonic Com my Sonic my newest edition of Sonic, Sonic Comics Plus it seems that Ian is trying something right here where he wants to make things a little bit more personal because the last line before Bunny and Sonic returned home the last line that he said to Bunny, Bunny's uncle is that you know she can't be playing both sides for very long and that sooner or later she's gonna have to face him and his Dark Legion or Dark Egg Legion as a freedom fighter. In other words, he's telling her, when you see us again, we won't be fa we won't be acting like family. You're going to have to treat us either as allies or your enemy or something like that. I don't know. But I'm not going to give much away yet. I'm not going to talk about much until I get my issue. But anyway, that's kind of the idea of what's going on. Now again, for many of you that have the issue, you know what's happening. You know what's happened already. So, and for many of you that read the summary, all the spoilers, like I did, and went to the Archie, uh, Archie, uh, Archie, uh, the Mobius Wikipedia, let's just put it that way, the Mobius Wikipedia, you know what's going to happen. Now, uh, besides that, it does, from what I understand, lead into kind of a prelude for the next issue, or the next two issues, which is called In Service of the King. Now here's the thing that's really been bringing up a lot of people when it comes to that two-parter that's going to be towards the end of the... well, it's basically going to close the year out. It's going to close the year out, that two-parter. Everybody is talking about the last issue of this year where it says Sonic the Hitchhawk Betrayed. Well, apparently what we have seen over the past... in more... in the past few weeks with the more recent covers and pre co cover previews, if you will, for like, like today we got the 221 cover preview and we saw pictures of the upcoming 225 preview. So, here's the thing. Here's the thing. One of the suspects that everybody thought would be, which is Sally, you can cross her name off the list. That's not going to happen. The question is, though, who will finally be revealed? It, it's kind of like, you know, we know the answer, but yet we don't want to officially come out and say it because 
Archie Comics and Ian Flynn might throw us a curveball. It's kind of like comparing it, again, I've said this before in many things, it's like comparing it to wrestling, like with TNA and WWE. You think you know something's going to happen and they throw you a curveball. You know, like at the Hell in the Cell pay-per-view for WWE, we all thought John Cena was going to beat Wade Barrett and Nexus there, right? Didn't happen. Wade Barrett beat John Cena. John Cena now is forcibly in Nexus. And then TNA, you know, we knew who they were going to be, we just didn't know who was going to be associated with them besides the three or the four we already knew of. And when Jeff Hardy joined up, that kind of did throw us a curveball because we didn't expect that. But again, that's, but, and again, comparing it to Archie Comics, basically what I'm saying is that that's exactly what we have to expect. I mean, yes, Cross Valley's name off the list, but whose names are left? Who would be the traitor? Well, we know it can't be Bunny, so you can cross her name off the list. Could it be Antoine? No, you cross his name off the list. Who could it be? Well, it could be St. John. Think about it. He's going in there with Sonic. He's going into the special zone with Sonic. It could be him. Hell, it could be Hamlin. Everybody's saying it's Hamlin, but who knows? Whenever, who knows when Ian's going to finally reveal that. But, you know, that, that is, but again, this is one of the reasons people are talking a lot about the last issue, because the feeling, it might be the one we've been waiting for, where we finally find out who possibly Silver's been talking about, or who one of the main traders could be. Now, what else? Well, let's talk about something that a friend of mine, not a friend of mine, but somebody I kind of subscribe to and on YouTube and have met on the message boards. The person's name is Double X Miko Double X. Now I recently just posted a response on YouTube because he's basically saying that it's official. Princess Sally is now a Mary Sue character. <laughs> basically a Mary Sue relationship character in the comics. Now, if you watch my video, which is before these, my two-part video, which is more audio than video, and hear what I have to say, then I think you'll understand that this character here, this character here, is not a Mary Sue character. All Ian is doing with that character is the same thing any writer would do if they're trying to, re trying to recon that character back, or reton, or whatever you want to call it, back into the character everybody knew and loved and all could agree upon and enjoy back when the character was a Sadie, was more Sadie M like than what she was recently under Ken Penders and Carl Bowler's uh, writing. That's what he's doing. And once you read that video, once you listen to that, what I have to say, I think you'll understand. I think you might agree. Now, what else? Well, we do know that Sonic the Hedgehog 4 has finally come out, the first episode of the new sequel. And I played the trial version. I didn't buy the game yet, but I played the trial version. And I have to say it looks pretty good. It's got that nostalgic feeling. And it's a game, I think, that once I buy the full, full size of it, I might enjoy um, night in, day out, night in, day out. I don't know. But it, it, it looks like a pretty cool game. So I def... Excuse me. If I was you, I'd definitely check it out. I'd really check it out. And if I get the money, I might help. I might put it on here. I might put it on my iPod. Who knows? But anyway, it looks pretty good to me. It looks like a fun game. I'd definitely check it out. And Xbox Live right now is actually doing a Sonic thing. It's actually got all the games from Sonic 4 to Sonic Adventure to Sonic and Knuckles to the first three Sonic games. Even Spinball, I think, is going to be in there or is in there, and they're putting them on sale for, for what they're calling the Sonic Month. But anyway, besides that, you know, honestly, honestly, I think we're going to get a lot, of a lot of questions answered in the next few months, especially with the traders and all that. I mean, Ian, you know, despite how you feel about him, he's building up to something big. I've got a feeling he's building up to something big. And it's going to be 225 that he's building up to, and it's going to answer a lot of questions. 
Owen, 221, if you look at the cover preview for that, look around Sally's picture. Tell me what you see there. And that might give you an answer as to what Ian has planned for those two, despite what you say about this character right here. Despite what you may say about this character, you might be surprised. Maybe not. But again, you know, that's all I have, but again, that's, you know, that's all I have to say. But again, you know, don't just assume, like anybody else does, that Archie Comics and Ian Flynn is turning a character like her or anybody else into Mary Sue's or John Doe's. All right? And again, you know, as far as the last two issues of the year, I'm looking forward to them. It looks very interesting. It looks like King Max, in my opinion, may be trying to get his power back. But we'll just have to wait and see. But that's all I have to say for my late October, early November opinions on the Sign to Hitchcock comic and franchise. I know it's a little bit different to see this before my review, but I do promise you my review will be up this week. I've got a feeling it will be. Because I will get the issue this week. So that's all I have to say. I thank you all for watching. God bless. Take care. Comment below if you want to. Watch the video where I respond to Double X Miko, Double X's little rant on the Sega.com message boards. I have the links provided in that video, so let me know what you think. But again, that's all I can say for my monthly opinions and everything. For this late October, early November, take care, and I will be seeing you later when I do my review, post it up. And until then, have a nice day. God bless. Take care.